Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Commander Landed here with another video on DC Legends. Today guys I'm going to bring you the first episode on a series called Team Synergies. And what we're going to be doing in this series, we're going to be looking at some teams that I think um, could work well in PvP as well as PvE. And we're going to take a brief look at them and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it and the composition of the team. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. This team is called uh, Chemo Bleed Team. And guys, I'm horrible at team names, so if you come up with a better name, uh, pl please feel free to comment in the comments section below and let me know. Anyway, let's get right into it and look at the team. Um, and actually, uh, let's look at the, in the team page right here. And this team, and guys, this is the composition that I have right now. Cheetah is the leader. Chemo, uh, Triple S, Lex, and I'm not actually using Green Arrow right now. Castaway Green Arrow. He's kind of like the moving piece of the team. We're going to get into that in a second. All right, let's talk about why I think this team uh, would actually be good in PvP. Now, this team does require a high investment uh, because Cheetah has to be at least le uh, rank 5 to be able to be fully effective for this team. And the reason we have Cheetah as the leader is because her um, passive ability, her team leader ability, pack leader, um, gives the team a chance to have a 30% chance uh, to get a 20% turn meter uh, when damaging bleed targets and in this team people are going to be bleeding left and right all the time and also chemo is a slow character in the team and uh, lex luther is also he's moderately fast he's not slow but he's not either fast so this uh, gives the team a chance to act uh, more times uh, per turn per battle uh, basically the, the, the more times you can act before the enemy team does the better it is for you anyway so this is why she's here now she could be substituted for uh, Zatanna if you so chose you still would keep Cheetah and the team but you would um, replace her with Zatanna and put her as a leader of, again she would require the investment of taking her to uh, rank 5 and that's because she also has a team leader passive that allows the team to get a uh, 15% turn meter when debuffing uh, an enemy now it's a 30% chance and this goes all the way up um, to 46% uh, when you max it out and uh, going back to Cheetah for a second something I forgot to mention about her passive is that when you max it out then uh, it goes up to 45% chance and you would get a turn meter of 40% um, which I think it's awesome this is why I think that she should be the leader all the time but if you needed that uh, team heal and Zatanna we know she's the best healer in the game right now um, then you could substitute her as the leader and then put Cheetah in the back line so and then the second character that this team has to have in order to be the chemo bleed is of course chemo now a lot of people don't like chemo and in reality he's not a good character on, on his own um, he needs a team built around him, which is like what this team is, to be able to be effective, or for me to believe, to, uh, that I believe, I'm sorry, that he would be effective. Now, there's a little bit of theory crafting here, guys, because as you can see, I don't have these characters at the level that they need to be. But anyway, he doesn't require that much of an investment because you can just take him to rank four and that'd be fine. Now, the reason he's on the team, of course, is because of his second ability, which uh, it's a to toxic experience. Toxic Spill, which is an AOE bleed that uh, it gives you a 70% chance uh, for an extra dot when it's maxed out. So everybody's going to be bleeding on the team, and when you max his ability um, all the way up, then you're going to get a, an added 70% that you might actually add another stack of bleed on top of that. Um, and then, of course, his third ability, Fallout, is also another reason why he's here. Is because, again, I said he's not a, a fast character. Now, Cheetah with her passive has a chance to give him a uh, turn meter, which would make him faster. Um, but also, Chemo has the ability to debuff the enemy team with speed down. Uh, and that's his uh, third ability, Fallout. And what this does is that it has a 23% chance to meter down when it's max. So when you take it to max level, it has that added 23% chance. And it also adds another stack of speed down. So it adds one stack just at level one then when you max it all the way up then it adds another stack which means that again the enemy team is going to be acting slower so that's the reason why um, he is in this team and again his level one guys as you can see mine is not leveled it's only at level one and it hits fairly hard i can only imagine that this is going to be going up as um, you know, obviously the damage will go up as you rank him up and level up his gear and whatnot, but his damage is pretty decent for a basic attack and at level one. 
And of course, as you can see, it also adds more stacks as you level it up of uh, bleed. So that's chemo i want to try and get through this fast guys so that you guys can see this team in, in action so the the third um character would be survival support suit lex and he is here for a quick burst of speed up which is in his second ability uh lex court uh nanomats which of course they uh give up a team speed up and also have a, has a medium heal, so he's not here really as a healer, but that's a nice bonus on top of that. Now, when this ability is maxed out, and you don't have to max it out, but when you do max it out, um, you get a plus two team speed up. So that means that you, is, you use this first, and you, if, if it's maxed out, you'll be giving your team a three speed up charges, which means that, again, would make chemo faster. Cheetah is really, really fast, so that means that she's going to be acting a whole lot, and also... Um, uh, Green Arrow is really really fast. He's probably the second fastest character in the game aside from Flash And he's also going to be acting really really fast. Now. Let's take a look at The Green Arrow cast away Green Arrow, which is the version that I am recommending for this team Now he's in my PvT, P, uh, PvP team right now, which is why he's level 43 and he is here because of a multi shot now multi shot I love this ability which is the reason he's my his in my PvP team is uh, it has a 60% chance at the moment it starts out with a 50% chance to so lower turn meter of the enemy team um, by 10% now when you max it out you're gonna have a plus uh, it's gonna be a 70% chance meter down and then it's gonna instead of taking 10% it's gonna take 20% so again you're trying to make the enemy team be slower and act less so that you got more time now these characters do hit fairly hard guys that this team hits fairly hard so this is not a team that has light damage okay overall i mean this team is pretty pretty good now green arrow is the movable piece in this puzzle for me um because you can definitely replace him with uh, other sni what I call sniper characters, like for example the Cape Crusader Batman um, with his grapnel kick. He, he's definitely going to be a sniper, a good uh, addition to this team just because of damage. Huntress, uh, her uh, third ability, I believe, is the one that has a 30% uh, damage on top of what it does already, which is fairly hard. Uh, it hits fairly hard um, if an enemy is dead, and with this team, I can guarantee you that somebody will be dead in the first turn. And that's how much confidence I have in this team. But then again. And this is a little bit of theory crafting at the moment so let's go ahead guys and take this team into battle i'm not going to lie to you because this uh, team is not maxed out i'm not going to risk a hard battle so we're just going to take him on chapter three and uh, as we do this battle i'm going to be talking about other some uh, other options that we might have for this team um so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh team in battle i want you guys to take a, a, a have a chance to experience them in action Let's stop the fast forward so we can enjoy it. All right, so as you can see, Green Arrow goes first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Multi Shot here with the, for the chance to take a win. As you can see, if you look at the turn meters on the enemies, you can tell which ones are losing turn meter. Right now, the guy's second from the right. Uh, he is. So now with Cheetah, we start off with our first ability. We use the second ability only when an enemy is bleeding because then that takes the cooldown uh it takes one away from the cooldown now uh, let's talk about some other options that you may have for this team as we uh do this battle uh if you're lucky enough to have the joker then you, he is also a great addition to this team um he applies bleeds and he also takes away from their turn meter and uh he has a chance to passively apply agility down strength down and stamina down after every enemy's turn so guys definitely the joker if you have him and not everybody does he is a great great ability to the team all right guys now with cheetah we have a choice we can either use ravage which is the second ability uh and kill an enemy or we can do her third ability because there's an enemy down we, we're going to get an additional strength up and that way we can strengthen the entire team i'm just going to go ahead and do that just because i want you guys to see that this team has the possibility of hitting fairly hard all right so another thing is that you um, also uh, could use other characters here, but again, I would definitely keep Cheetah as the leader, as I said, um, and Chemo, definitely those two pieces have to be there for this team to be able, again, to be called Chemo Bleed, right? Um, and as you can see, see she did, she's only level 25, guys, and she's doing, she did uh, fair, a fair, fairly good amount of damage there. All right, so again, this team, uh, I think is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, once I have this team, 
um, leveled up the way I want them to be leveled up, then I'm going to definitely be recording a PvP video uh, where I'm going to be taking them into battle so that you guys can see how this team performs. Um, but let's talk a little bit about what I'm doing because I've been rambling too much about other stuff. Alright, so as you saw, I started out with multi-shot. I followed it up with uh, level 1 for Cheetah. And as you can see, she's fairly fast. She's been probably acting twice as much as Chemo and Lex Luthor um, in this battle. Definitely much more than Chemo. Um, and with, with Lex Luthor, you use that speed up ability right away. Um, and then with Chemo, you do that AoE bleed. And then once you have the bleeds on, then you, know, you can definitely start using those abilities. And Cheetah's passive would then um, you know, proc a whole lot more because every enemy is bleeding. So you got more chances to get those uh, bleeds out. So we're going to come into the end of the battle. We're going to use multi-shot again. Um, and uh, take their uh, turn leader down. As you can see, we're going to use a speed up here again to speed everybody up. Again, with Cheetah as a, a rank 5, you wouldn't have to be doing this as much. We're going to use Ravage here because nobody has that, and we would definitely want that added strength up when we get the chance to use it. And okay, so Chemo should be acting right after this enemy right here. And her, his AoE is um, off of cooldown, so we're going to use it. And again, in PvP, you're only facing one wave, guys. So, um, you know, th those bleeds are going to stay, and you know, they're going to stack. All right, so let's, we, let's see how many uh, strength up we can get here with uh, this ability. Now the two enemies are down. All right, we got three strengths up uh, in right now. All right, let's see. Okay, now remember, guys, that these abilities are not maxed out. These characters are not maxed out. I'm a level 40. Uh, four player right now and these characters most of them are still still at level 40 uh, 25 I'm sorry um, green uh, green arrow is the only one that is at level 43 at the moment so there you go guys that is uh, team chemo bleed uh, let me know what you think do you agree with my assessment do you think this would be a good team or do you think this team is not going to be any good do you think it's worth the investment let me know in the comments section below or you can tweet me at commander landed and let's go ahead and continue the conversation on this and if you're new to the channel guys please subscribe so that you don't miss out on all the great content that we'll be bringing you in the future and feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and as always have a fantastic rest of your day and happy thanksgiving guys